Today we will build small rope pulleys. We will build them from standard parts, which you can get at Amazon or your local hardware store. What we need is we need two very simple metal plates, ball bearing, extra large washers, then 10 mm matrix screws and a nut which is self-locking. That's basically all. What we'll do, we'll bend this so it forms this shape so we can place the bearing right here. Take the washer, take the bearing, place it right here, put the screw as an axle through and that's it. Here we are with our rope pulley. To bend the metal plates, we we'll place them right here. And we will have the line of this here exactly at the two holes. So we can bend easily here. Be sure that you have a right angle. Yeah, looks good. And those metal plates have a round side and a sharp side. The sharp side should be at the upper side side of the roll. Now let's do the bending. Turn around. Secure them. Check for the right angle. Else this is wrong. A little bit in this direction. So looks good. Check them for being parallel. So we're done. Here are the two band metal plates. Below this place. Mind the smooth edge should point towards the rope or the axle. So let's fit it all together. This looks quite good. It's a little bit a little bit too wide on this side, but I think it will work. We'll make it a little bit narrower this plate because there has to be a three to four millimeter plate to fix inside. Oh, that's another one. Let's maybe this one works better. So, ah, uh, this looks good. So, after that, we could screw on the nut and saw through the axle, and we're done. But right now, I will do two other holes right here because we we need this to get a security rope through there. It's a special contraction. Now I drilled the additional security holes. Basically we will have a rope going through these holes uh, to provide additional security to the object which will fit through the, through the pulley. So let's assemble it. Always keep in mind the round edge has to be in direction of the rope. Also here the round edge in direction of the rope. First of all the ball bearing, this. And the right way around. Okay, so looks good. Okay. Let's again screw this down right here and saw it, shorten it with the metal saw. Okay, let's take a 17 millimeter. Slack, now it works nicely. Maybe a little bit more. Like this. Looks, yes. 
Okay, looks good. Now we will remove this part with a metal saw. Okay, let's take the metal saw and saw it here. So here a tip. When you are close to the end, when sawing, shortening something, you can take this with your glass. You can take this with your glass. Okay. But in this case you have to be cautious because this gets very hot. But sawing like this, it was a little bit short, you avoid your saw from falling through and from uh, from getting this part somewhere in your, in your workshop. It's much easier this way. Okay, get it a little bit nicer. Done. That's it. This was nearly, nearly real time. We built a nice, very robust rope pulley. It works well due to the ball bearings here. Oh, it has a little bit too much slack. I have to get this a little bit tighter. And here is left room for fitting another plate in. The plate which will fit in here will be about four millimeters. This means a little bit thicker than this one. That's it. So, and this is the final product and how you would use it. This is one I thought that it closes here tightly. So, to get the rope in it, you simply put it open, turn it open, pull the rope in, close it, and this is a design from climbing rope pulleys. You have a binder and this binder closes the rope pulley firmly. So right now you can use it wherever you want. Let's talk a little bit about the dimensions. You see the axle is 10 millimeters. The ball bearings here have about 9 millimeters. Eight and a half. The diameter of the washers is let's have a look at it. It's 40 millimeters. And the plate here is 35 and is in thickness two and a half. Two millimeters two and a half. That's it. Enjoy.